We're continuing on with our look at React State Management and how it works with TypeScript. And on this one, we're going to look at the Jotai State Manager, which is another variant on the Recoil State Management system, if you're familiar with that from Facebook. Let's jump right into the code. So the first thing we're going to do is clone our repo. And I'll call this to do Jotai. Bring that up in VS Code, and I need to do a yarn, but I also need to install Jotai, so let's do both of those things at the same time. And we'll look in our store to see what we've got. We've got our TS interface for a to-do item. It includes the ID of an item, what you're going to do, the text, and whether you've done it or not, the done Boolean, as well as these handy little helper functions that manage in an FP style the state of the to-do list. So I'm, I'm going to continue to export an interface, but not those. So update to-do, for example, takes a list of to-dos and returns a list of to-dos. And the returned list of to-dos has the text of the ID of the to-do with a given ID updated to that text. Similar, similar thing for to-do and toggle to-do. It just toggles the done state. Remove to-do just filters out from the array, the one that is being removed and then add to do just goes and pushes in a new one with, you know, some hijinks to give it a unique ID. So easy peasy. Let's go check on the UI, which is a boilerplate that I got from the Chakra folks. It's the standard Chakra TypeScript template. There's a nice little thing in there that gives you a, a dark light toggle. So I kept that in there just for, for looks. And there we go. So there it is. You can toggle the theme and you can see how that works. It's really kind of cute. So there's five components in here. There is this toggler. There is a top bar that has that toggler and also the load button, which is going to go off and show us how asynchronous behavior works. There is the list of all the to do's. And then there is a component that has the input for the to do and an add to do, which would then go and add it to the list. So let's go and implement on this one first and see how Jotai is going to make that happen. So Jotai works in with atoms. It models the world as atoms. So let's bring in Adam from Jotai. And then we're going to export an atom that models, we'll call this the Jotai implementation, the new to do atom. And that's an atom that is of a type of string that would be inferred anyway by the empty string, but that's okay, you know, just to be nice and TypeScript, TypeScript safe about it. We would also have the to do's atom, which would model the list of all the to do's. Now that's obviously not okay, the empty string, so an empty array will do. And there you go. That's the initial state that we're going to play with here. So let's go over and see how to use that. So first I need to implement a provider. It is a provider based system. So I need to bring in a provider from Jotai. And just to be clear about it, I'm going to remap that to Jotai provider so that I know what I'm bringing in here at the top. There we go. And once that's done, I can go down into the, for example, the to do add, and I can bring in use atom from Jotai, as well as the atoms that I want to use from the store. So I'm going to bring in the new to do atom from the store. And in order to use that, I'm going to get back the new to do and then set new to do or new to do set if you like. And this is very similar to use state, right? So use atom, new to do atom. And that's it. So over here, I'm going to connect that to the value. And I'm going to use the on change to then set using new to do set. Let me go and change that set. There you go. Cool to the event target value. All 
right. And let's just make sure it works. So I'm going to go over here and add a to do. And I, you know, I'm guessing this is working. But what I really want to do is go and push that into the to do list. Now I could just use to do's like this and, and do like a to do list set right here. But I kind of want to still encapsulate the business logic. So what I want to do is create a an atom that actually references the other atoms and gets that done. So I, I want to go and push the new to do into the list of to do's and then set the new to do to empty. So I'm going to create a new atom. We'll call this add to do atom. And the first function that I give it is the return value function. That's like the getter. So there you go. That's the read the getter. And then the second is the setter. So the right. So I'm going to take a, a get and a set and then Currently, it's not going to take any arguments. So there you go. And I'll make a function out of that. Cool. And so I want to set the new to do atom to empty. No empty string. That's the easy one. Well, it's also this one's also easy. You want to set the to do's atom to be the add to do with the existing to do's atom value and the existing new to do atom value. And that's a add to do. All right, so that's our add to do atom. Let's go back over to our app and then import that. And then down in here, we're going to avoid the first return because we don't need it. And then we just have a new function here called add to do. If we get this from the atom, the add to do atom, just like that. And now we can call that on to do or add to do from the click. And that's all you need to do. So let's, uh, let's try this out and see if it actually works. All we would see is that this would disappear. So yeah, okay, looks to disappear. Let's go see if this actually works over on the to do list. So I'm going to bring in use Adam again, but this time I'm going to bring in the to do's Adam. And I'm going to get the list of to do's from that Adam. And then use that to map through my list of to do's. And let's see if I do command K, command I. Yeah, cool. So the type that I defined in TypeScript are coming through just fine. This is telling me that this is an array of to do items, and that's perfect. So I can go down here and set uh, the checked to to do done. Let's just get that out of the way. And let's go see if we've added a value. Oh, we did. That's nice. React hot refresh kept the values around. That's cool. Okay. So now we need to be able to implement delete as well as update as well as the toggle. So, okay, let's go back over here to our store and we'll add a few more atoms. One would be a update to do atom. And all that's going to do is take as an argument, the text of the, or the ID actually, so it's going to take an ID and some text. And the ID is going to be defined as a number. And the text is going to be defined as a string. And then it's going to do update to do and give it the ID and the number. I'm oh, sorry, and the text. There you go. Yeah, pretty cool. So let's just go through that. It, it, there are There is a third argument here, and that is any arguments that you want to go and set send to that function. In this case, we're going to send it an object. That object is going to contain an ID and a text, and those are defined as a number and a string. And then over here, we're going to set the to do's atom with the update to do, which is this, our yeah, a little function up here. It's basically, you know, gives us a to do list back and all that. Uh, and then we get the to do's and we add it on. Now let's do the same thing for toggle and remove. We'll make, keep it symmetric, we'll call that 
toggle and we'll call this remove and we'll call this toggle get rid of the text and in this case we'll just take an ID as a number same thing down here and well, we'll just pop that in there. Yeah, looking pretty good. Okay, so let's go back over to our to-do list and bring in these new atoms. So we've got a toggle to-do atom, we've got a update to-do atom, and we've got a remove to-do atom. Awesome. And let's start bringing those in. So we've got nothing there, toggle to-do. Update to do. And finally, remove to do. And then over in the checkbox, we actually want to implement on this. So we're going to take our on click and call toggle to do with the to do ID. So this is actually starting to look, I know that this is exotic, you know, this kind of atomic style over here. But once you start actually getting into the meat of the implementation, I mean, this is actually a nice interface. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So update to do, that's going to take an on change. There's going to take an event and do the update with the to do ID. Let's put this on the next line, event target value. And then finally, the remove to do My bad. So that's going to take an ID as well as a text. There you go. I forgot that it's just a single argument that I need to send. But, you know, I do get hinting on that. So if I were to go over here to Command K, Command I, I would see that I'm going to, it wants me to take a an object that has an ID and text, and it's either going to turn a promise or, or a avoid or a promise to avoid. And let's see, on click. And this one is going to give me remove to do with the to do ID. Okay, let's give it a try and see how it works. So we'll go and add a bunch of to do's, update them, toggle, delete. Looks great. All right, the last one to do is the load. So you know what? I'm going to keep it real simple on that one. Let's go and bring in use atom into top bar as well as the atoms. And I'll just set that to, to do atoms, to do atom. Set to do's. And I'll use the atom, to do's atom in this case. And I'm only going to bring in the setter, that's set to do's. And then I'll go and create an on load function. It goes and fetches that JSON. Let's go take a look at the JSON just to see what we're getting. The JSON matches the to do topology exactly. And it's got get dinner fixings, cook dinner and eat dinner. So if we see those, we're good. Let's then continue on with our fetch, take the response, get back the response JSON. And then with the data, we will go and set to do's to that data. And then finally, we just need to connect that up to the button. So let's do on click and then give it on load. And uh, away we go. If I want to make this a little more type safe, I could go and add on to do from here and then make sure that the data is set to to do, which it is. So there you go. And uh, let's take a look. All right. Load a hey, first try. Wow. Nice. OK, cool. So there it is, Jotai, uh, an interesting atomic-based variant on state management that is a really nice replacement for a used state because it has exactly the same API signature. But in this case, the atom, as opposed to being specific to that particular component or that instance of that component, is shared with anyone else who wants to talk to it. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at Joe Tai and its use in this admittedly pretty simplistic to-do example. It really doesn't show the power of that atom-based approach where atoms can depend on other atoms and you get this kind of cascade update, but we may do that in another video. I certainly hope so. Joe Tai is a really cool approach to data management and I'd like to do more on it. So let's talk about some pros and cons as it relates to other data management systems. First, it's really small. It clocks in at about 7K in comparison to Recoil's 43. So that's really great. Second, that atomic approach is really cool. You can basically just kind of change out use state for use atom wherever you want a global value and it just works. It's totally cool. Uh, and then the third is that there's some really cool stuff going on in the Jotai development ecosystem. So there is an extension to add React Query, so an atom can be essentially a query. And then also XState, so that an, any individual atom could be a state machine, which is really, really cool. On the con side, the only one that I can think of is that it's just a unique way to model data. And so you and your team may have a learning curve to come up to speed with it. But if that's the kind of model that you think would be great for your application, then go for it. Of course, I want to hear from you. Be sure to put that in the comment section down below. Any thoughts, ideas, suggestions you might have. Of course, you can also jump on the Discord server, which there's a link to in the description and talk to us directly. Feel free to like and share the video with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. But from me to you, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.